My name is Nervese Flint. I am the program manager here at Black Women for Wellness. Black Women for Wellness is a nonprofit committed to the empowerment, health, and well-being of Black women and girls. We look at the whole being of Black women and girls and all the intersectional ways that we uh, uh, live through lives. So that's what I would say Black Women for Wellness is me kind of theme. Just in my anecdotal experience, um, I would say that the things that were impacting um, the black girls that we are talking to kind of vary from school to school, but we work mostly in South Los Angeles. Um, but one is really like violence and like understanding sexual violence and what that means. So they all experience it, but they don't really know the name of it and know that sexual harassment, right? People coming around and slapping your ass. That is not okay, that's sexual harassment, but they didn't have a name for it, right? Another part is like, what does it look like to have a healthy relationship, right? Um, because so many things are just focused on like, do you got a man or not, right? Which is one, very homogeneous, because we all, there are black girls who are lesbian and pansexual and transgender and all those other things, right? So it's like, one, putting this in the very heart of a normative space, but then also it's like putting their value to somebody else, right? So then what we see, and also in the statistics, what we see is black girls making decisions that are not best for them, but best to keep them into these relationships, right? So being with people who are violent, being with people who don't treat them right, being with people who are like, I don't want you to use this like condom. And them actually knowing that, but having to say like, it's better for me to be with this person than not. One of the things that's also, that's been coming up, particularly around black girls and what we've been seeing in the schools is like a lot of like folks, pimps, gang members have trained, have like defocused on drugs and went to like girls and human bodies. So we are seeing more and more girls on the street essentially selling their bodies, like 14, 15 year old girls who are being put out there, being prostituted, and then like in spaces um, that you try to get them away, they can't, they're getting recruited in foster care homes, being put in jail, like it is crazy what is going on. It is the government's responsibility to make sure that that we all can go to schools that have books, that have good education, that we pass laws, that people are getting sex education, that people have access to reproductive health care. Planned Parenthood, of course, is an ally of ours, right? But the funny part of Planned Parenthood, only 9% of them are in, in communities that are considered um, black communities, right? So. One of the ways they like hit folks of color is to be like, oh, the pet parents are in your neighborhood and they're trying to kill your babies, right? And I'm like, well, that's actually not true. We're also, right now, we actually wish that there was more clinics, right, that are open that give competent care in our spaces. So I feel like those are like tangible ways that our government can help us uh, without intruding into our everyday lives.